Online Armor 3.5. Now it's an easy installation. I already have it installed, so just follow the prompts and I'll do a clean installation. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, fill in your details, otherwise untick the box. Now when the setup is finished, it'll take a few seconds and you get the safety check wizard open up and click next and it will check the latest product updates dangerous cyclic uh, processes your start menu, startup objects, internet explorer extensions etc it will show you those that need attention and this will apply to most that are not on online armors whitelist simply click on it and click allow and those you have the option to allow, block or ask I won't go through all of these at the moment. Um, I've done a couple and that will do for now. In auto runs, the same applies. You can allow, block, delete, or you can allow all. And these are programs that auto start when you boot your computer. Uh, in this case, I'll block a few. Just click on it, click block and that's it. You can also right click and select block from there. Each of them are color coded and when you look in the options you will see that the different colors have different meanings which I'll come to later. You can enable multi desktop support, internet settings if you use a proxy, fill in your address, your port number, proxy username and password, click OK. Uh, it'll check for a new version each day it says but it doesn't actually uh, the firewall enable logging you can allow for all events blocked events all activity intercept the loopback interface and look up external IP address L intercept the loopback if you're on a router you can exclude files and folders simply by clicking on add and select your files and folders from your computer. Backup, restore and hotkeys are disabled in the free version. The next thing to do is to click next and it will reboot. So I will come back after the reboot. Now when you come back it will go into learning mode and you will have this in front of you and it will finish the installation fairly quickly. You then get presented with the user interface. If you click the general tab, you've got the program guard and firewall which are on. Mail shield and web shield are not installed on the free version. Programs. Go down through the list and you can check them. You can highlight multiple selections by holding down the control key and clicking and select delete if you don't want them. As you can see, the color coding is self-explanatory. If you have programs which are absent or as an installer, you can safely delete them. Prompt when running unknown programs will give you a pop-up. Show colored border on programs set to run safer. Hidden processes detection. Now this can cause FPs, so untick that. Use the online armor whitelist. Clear unknown programs on reboot. That's not a good idea, so I'd untick that. Notify when online armor auto trust a program, uh, when it blocks a program, and when it contacts Oasis in real time, which is online armor support. Auto runs. Again, these are the programs that auto start with your machine. And here you can allow all, you can allow individual ones, or you can block them. Again, they're color coded. If they're absent, simply right click and delete it. Internet Explorer add-ons. If you have any add-ons, they will be listed here. Hosts. If you have a host file, you will find that the host list is populated. Now this is a clean installation, so at the moment there's not very much on here at all. The firewall. This shows you the programs that are currently accessing the internet. You can delete them, block them, or add. The rules will show you the programs, uh, the protocol, and the direction, the port number. The interfaces, this shows you computers or the 
modem router connection. If it's trusted, as this one is, then tick the trusted box. Computers will show you what computers are connected to your router if you're using a router. The history, this will go down through. If you click on it, it will show you down at the bottom what each one is. If you go into options again, you have a number of days to keep history. You can clear history on reboot if you like, and you can change the number of days to keep the history. The options, again, we come back to this. Internet settings, check your proxy settings are correct if you're using a proxy. The language is default English and standard mode. The logging we've already set, the exclusions, backup, restore and hotkeys are disabled. You have the support forums which if you click here it will take you into support and that basically is the interface set up now in your taskbar you'll have a little icon that looks like the task manager and if you right click it and open it it will show you the firewall status inbound data outbound data and connections and you can show only connected endpoints you can resolve addresses you can get a lot of information from here as to what's connected and what's going in and out of your machine. Now if I untick this one, show only the connected endpoints. You can select to have this always on top and you can minimize it, but it doesn't minimize very small. Now here I've connected Internet Explorer. It'll show you the local address the remote address and the country and it states that it's connected so you do know what's happening with your connections and it's a good idea to be able to look at these for those that are a bit more savvy you know, it's an easy to use firewall once it's set up you will get the usual pop-ups as you do with all firewalls it's important to uninstall any other firewall before installing this one. Now if you try and run a program uh, and you trust it, tick remember my decision, allow and in this case I'm installing Firefox and I will just follow it through and as you can see down in the bottom right you get the online armor firewall pop up telling you that it's been given permission to connect and here it is, it's opened up and that's it you will get the same with most of them. If you right click the shield icon you have configuration, check for updates which doesn't work in the free version, help to all email on the, on the web, open user area, standard mode, program guard, firewall, firewall status, firewall log, start a file system scan. You can scan all your files. This will take a while. Show the scan progress. Learning mode. Don't use that for long periods. Block all network traffic. Deactivate HIPS features. Close and shut down online armor and close the interface. Now if we start the scan, select your drive, show the progress indicator and click scan. And you'll have this little screen at the bottom and it will scan through all of the files, all of your folders. When it's completed, uh, it'll show you that the scan is complete and the details. If you want more information, check out my blog, which is Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.